and we're back to another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator. I'm your host, the RPG guy. The IT expansion continues. Um, as we have a whole bunch of mail we gotta look at. So let's get started, shall we? The final clue. Hey, just to let you know, I finally have the last clue. I have sent something over to you as a thank you present. Hope you enjoy it. Sorry if it's weird. I am very tired. No, all I have to do is put all the clues together, figure out the solution, and find the money. Oh, God, I'm never going to be able to sleep again, am I? Hedy Hertz, intern applied cryptology in Aerotech Corporation. P.S. In case you wanted to help, here's the final clue. Ether Mixup gets head of Aerotech to meet shareholders at last, but denial leads to many disheartened, accepting the smallest amount. Let me know if you can figure it out. Not even going to waste my time with it. So we were supposed to get something from that. I don't... He sent us a gift. Ah, there it is. The cubic. Let's place it now, why don't we? So we get another item. Tiny little Rubik's Cube. <clears throat> We've got a handful of jobs here. Growing our numbers. Ellie Crawley. <clears throat> Ellie B. Crawley. It's vital to our cause that you get Fall Guys installed and running on this computer. Ideally, it should run at recommended settings, and perhaps you could add some kind of decorative touch like a Fall Guys wallpaper. My group, the Disciples of Lauren, isn't off to a great start. It's still just me, and I noticed you never came either. Perhaps you were intimidated by the grand scale of the events I have foretold. Worry not, all members of the group will be saved, and there will be a great many of us soon. This computer, for example, belongs to Gordon from Client Engineering. He has agreed to join the cult club so long as I grant him the power to play Fall Guys at work. A crude deal, but perhaps, but the scriptures give guidance. The greatest assistance... Are those able to make new deals? Truly, they shall receive great bonuses. Yes, helping a new acolyte install a game in a small pr is a small price to pay for salvation when the expiration arrives. Oh God, this is this is getting darker. Um, Clow, praise be to Warren. Clow, clow. So we need this to be f installed, Fall Guys, and run Fall Guys at recommended settings so if we take a look at this let's boot this sucker up put a fall guys background on it because we know we need to and really take a look at what's here we're gonna run 3d mark advance of course because we're probably gonna have to um we'll, we'll do a virus scan because we're not gonna we may have to you know clean this machine up let's find the wallpaper app application uh software and then we'll do these guys as well then we're gonna put fall guys on here and you know we'll put will it run we'll just try to keep it all on one computer and make it easy <clears throat> so fall guys and will it run We start the rig. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to do BIOS work later. Uh, let's run just the basic maintenance stuff. And that'll be good. Should be some Fall Guys wallpaper in here somewhere. Okay, and then we'll look at Fall Guys in entirely. So for the recommended specs, he needs more memory. And it looks like he's going to need a GTX 960 or higher. So let's start with that first. So if we go here, GTX 960... And we have our pick of the litter here. But we do need to check one other thing. The virtual memory needs to be at least 2 gigs. But I'd rather have a 4 gig if possible. For $10 more, we can get a 4 gig card. Um, just because it's going to be better than what he's got. And he needs more memory. What's he got in here already? Let me just increase that. 
He has Sheen Titan 2 gig. And he needs 4 gig of RAM. So we can go to Sheen Titan. And just buy another 2 gig stick and just keep it cheap. We're putting more money into the video card than we're putting into, into him. Okay, Connie. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Connie, Airtex Finance Director. I hear you're someone who gets things done. I cooked up a plan to dramatically increase our profits. I'll include all the juicy details in the notes section below. All I need is an image editing app, but I want it to run properly. Just make sure you, I've got whatever hardware they recommend. My schedule absolute, is my schedule is absolutely stacked, so I don't have time to drop my PC off. I have to come to my office instead. And while you're there, maybe you can have a look at my printer. I ran into some issues with it last week. I wanted to try making our own promotional T-shirts to cut costs. How was I supposed to know it would get jammed in the print printer? These people are fucking idiots. Uh, oh, and could you try changing my desktop wallpaper to something a bit more finance director? Cash money, bank notes, that sort of thing would be great. Okay. A couple weird requests. Okay, so here's the plan. Your tech needs more money, and money is cash, right? Bank notes. And that, what are bank notes? They're just bits of paper with fancy pictures on it. And if there's one thing that thing Airtech has loads of, it's paper. Can you see where I'm going with this? We'll all be billionaires by the end of the week. All right. Regardless... They want to run mugshot at recommended specs. That's probably fine. That's fine. Um, we might have to go over there and figure out what's wrong with her rig. Uh, and put, uh, what's it called on there? So we might just have to do that before we even bother with anything else. Um, let's go over there real quick and take a look at the stats of her current machine. Why she can't run run mugshot at CC at the recommended set. Ooh, it's a pretty office. Let's fix this while we're here. And then let's add we need to run that that will it run I'm not really going with the old way we used to do stuff just to be safe. And he wants a fancy wallpaper. So let's figure out what's going on here. Run these suckers. I want something with money on it. There's money there. Well, there you go. You twenty euro cents. All right, will it run? Um, mugshot. There we go. Okay, it needs a video card with six, eight gigs of memory, 1070, NVIDIA GeForce 1070 Ti. So we need, I think it was a Founders Edition. to make sure I don't know why I closed that but I did um <clears throat> not just a 1050 that's nope 1070 that's 8 gig that's all we really need okay so it doesn't so so our cart's going to be getting pretty full here it needs to be yeah no, nope, we want it by price, please. And then, and then it is the founders. 8 gig. It should fit. I don't know. Hold on. This is a weird... These are weird cases here. So we're going to have to open her up and take a look inside. So yeah, we should be able to fit founders cards. So... Hmm. 
Now, it does say T... Uh, hold on. It does say 1070 Ti. These are not Ti. This is a Ti. These two are not. So, we're going to make sure we grab a Ti. Right here. Boom. Okay, that knocks this guy out. And we're going to end up with a nice Founders Edition card. Okay, um, so that's there. Okay, so we're on course with that. Let's look at the next one here. Hardware problem. Mission critical for our hyper-reach launch. Lay Macy. Hey, hiya, can you find out what's going on with my computer, please? It's quieter than normal. It's making weird a weird, toasty smell. That's probably bad. Also... Keep it on the down low, but maybe you could install Heart of Stone for me. I'll only play during lunch breaks, I swear. We're close to launching HyperReach, our new cloud marketing initiative, so I really need my PC in good shape. It's pretty exciting. It's with one of the server engineers, and they seem to really know what they were talking about, which is rarer than you might think. Haha. -ha. Seriously, they're really cool, and hopefully I'll see more of them once HyperReach takes off, or just around the office or whatever. So we got to diagnose and fix and put heart of stone on there so we'll put this one right here no keep an order going since we're kind of done with the stick on this we'll take this out okay boot it up okay um Diagnose the usual suspects. Be linked. It's probably viral, probably things like bite back in this can be run. Going to be a lack of thermal paste on the processor. Which I might check before we start this up too far. Well, actually, we found the problem right here. Arctic Freezer 34. Um, boom. That'll be enough to get us started. Okay, that's enough to get us started with diagnostics. Now let's look at our last job. Inspire me. I need green cables to fulfill my inspiration. All those multicolored lights are kind of distracting. Can you turn them off or s set them to black or something? Oh, God. Herman Pincel. Sending this from inside the inspiration, inspiration station, previously known as Mini Room 14B. It's pretty great in here. You heard all the windows, so it's kind of dark, but sensory deprivation can be a great source of inspiration. You should give it a try sometime. If you can't cover your windows, you could always shut your, just shut your eyes. Anyways, I'm still at the ideas stage of the Blando's experiment, Mild Corn Flakes Branding. I hardly know where to start. Right now, I'm thinking of my macro scale. I'm thinking broad strokes. I'm thinking colors. Doing my best to really explore the available spectrum, you know, like what colors are even possible in today's world. The biggest problem is that I'm doing all this visual exploration on my computer, but the computer itself is just so uninspiring. There's no excitement, no pizzazz. Help me out, will you? So we need he wants us to install green cables and turn the lighting off. Okay, well that's pretty uneventful. So and because of the nature of this thing, we're gonna have to take a lot of this freaking rig apart here. So we can see all the cables. So to be to be certain here. <clears throat> green cables is something we have to buy. We don't have it. Because that did not carry over. And I want... Braided green... Braided cables here. So there's the expenses. In a nutshell. About almost half of what we got. But it's pretty straightforward stuff. Um... 
so I guess we may as well get started with this. I think we have everything. So let's uh, buy now. Grab all that. And so this guy needed a better card because this is trash. We have the memory, I forgot the memory. This guy should be done. So let's run 3D Mark to make sure it runs okay. Then what we'll do Get to work on this guy. And then... Oh, no. Motherfucker. Oh, that's going to suck. That's really going to suck. Um... Okay. Well... Here's what we're going to do. Um, we have to buy a founder since it's the only thing that fits. Clearly. Yeah, it looked like it needed to be a 180. 180. And actually, that founder is only 150. No, no, 267. So there's, this is 298. 260. You know what? We're just going to buy the founders because we know that's going to fit. Um, as far as what we're going to do with the other video card, I don't really have an answer for that. We could sell it and get the 200 bucks back. We might just do that because we're, we're so short on cash. It's, it's kind of weird to sit on it. Um, we could still sit on it. I might still do that. Um, but I'm not convinced yet of what we're going to really be doing here. Probably going to sell the other card. It's so expensive. At least we'll get, we've, we're only at 400 bucks instead of the 600. We could put it in a computer too, but we need better parts. There we go. hate when they're that spe goddamn specific. And um, before we finish that, we will make sure to um, install all of that and put on Mugshot because it's not on there yet. All right, what did you need? Cooling. Luckily, you were cheap. So far. Who's this? Leia? Okay, so she's pretty much done. Once we run that. And you, sir, wanted green cables. I wanted everything turned off. So, lighting-wise. So let's look at that first. And run our other shit. Don't think we're going to need to run that. Um, but we will run the virus scan. We'll run all the other scans.
lighting, and then be linked, bite back, the usual suspects. And we can actually uninstall them relatively quickly here. This slow ass hard drive. Okay, and then he wants this all turned off. Then we got to do the redo the cabling, but we'll check on the uh other computers really quick before we come back to this one. For reasons. Okay, this one's done. The need to do is have an option where you can just highlight all the software you want to uninstall and un uninstall it. All right. This guy is pretty much done. This one should be done. Which we will double check. Let us go off site real quick here. You know what? Let's get this started actually. Three. Boom. And do every bit of cabling in this bad boy. Yeah. Let's just run 3D, 3D mark anyway, just to make sure everything's plugged in correctly without having to overload it or anything. Or any who. Three mark. All right, let's go to Connie. Oh, 
Hopefully that's going well. It is. And she needs mugshot, which I did not put on. I thought I put it on. I guess I didn't. All right, this will be done. And we did the printer. Pretty sure we did everything she wanted. Yeah, it looks like we did good. Return to workshop. All right, we can put this pretty much back together. All right, I think we're we're done with all of this. Then here, let's go ahead and make a save because we've done so much work in kind of one big go, one big swoop. All right, uh, many thanks for the help. I'll crack on with the plan as soon as I get out of this meeting. So we made some money back. Fantastic, I feel the inspiration flowing already, and we get no money back for We made a hundred bucks on that. Uh, this one we're not going to make that much money off of. Uh, hey, just wanted to say thanks, and extra thanks for hooking me up with Heart of Stone. I'm totally addicted, ha ha ha. And then the Fall Guys, dude, yep. Okay, Cla Clau, you're doing righteous work, my child. Praise be to Warren. Okay, so, and we actually are 200 bucks short, so ultimately... We're going to keep the card for now and see if we can use it later. 2,800 is not a big loss. The other thing I'm thinking of here is to go to motherboards. And I'm thinking what we're going to do here is pick up three of these. We're not going to buy it yet. We're, we want to get the cheap shipping. But I want to start collecting cheap parts for um, <clears throat> some of these lesser processor builds we haven't really gotten another option for um more of uncle tim's bargains yet so that we're kind of waiting for that so uh thanks again for helping out with my pc i'm just about ready to kick off my cash money project now need to find some bank notes and a scanner but after that it should be smooth saying we're on to profit so he's pretty much forging counterfeiting money what are you going to buy with your share of the money i think i might get a yacht all right we'll discard that don't care about your stupid yacht one Two, three, four. All right, so we've got four new jobs here. Polly Harmon. Perry Diddle was the drummer for Mangled Cabbage. She's an impact engineer in quality assurance now. But she is she's in this totally bogus situation where her boss, with her boss, she was supposed to test stress test a printer, but she got the wrong memo, smashed her computer and said, anyway, she's totally up for getting the bank to band back together, but she can't play unless her PC gets fixed. She still got to stress test the printer too, but she said you could do it for her. Just punch it for her or something, I guess. And hey, I uploaded a little photo from Mangled Cabbage's last concert in the company drive. You can see the crowd going totally wild, my dude. Maybe you could set that as her wallpaper. Yes, Perry's cool, very chill, very zen. She drums to like release tension and stuff, so I totally figure that she found a job getting paid to hit stuff. Smart, too. She wrote all the lyrics to our second single, Polyrhythmic Bacchanal. Bacchanal. But we had to drop that from our set list because our singer couldn't pronounce Plethys Morgrath. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. All right. 
Let's go to PC. So Polly here needs a video card replacement, clearly. And this sucker's bad. So let me see what we've got on us, actually, just because we could save some money at this point. So CPU cooling. That's broken. We have one in white, so we're just going to give her that. Again, like I said, um, due to the demand of the fact we're out 200 bucks, we're gonna we're gonna shell out some of this old stuff that we've been sitting on. Okay, what's this? 1050 Ti OC. 1050 Ti OC. We do have this, and this is pretty tr trash. So. Well, that's four gig versus two gig. You, um, do you have that? This is still better than that. Okay, we're gonna have to buy this, even if I don't want to. Um, we can't put that in there. So, you know, let's just try it. Yeah, inferior graphics card. So let's see. It is the Zotac 1050 Ti. There we go. Boom. And that'll be good to go. Um, plus the wallpaper and everything else. Okay. Board aboard aboard Connie Vitti. Don't panic, but if you have any emails or documentation related to Operation Cash Money, you should delete them many, immediately and maybe burn the hard drive they were stored on just to be safe. The government might be onto us. Can't take the risk of them tracing it back to me, so I microwave my hard drive. Can you bring me a replacement, install cookbooks, and sell out? I need to get back to work. Like nothing happened. Might be a good idea to run a network diagnostic as well, just to make sure that it was trying to run a trace on me. That's a thing, right? How did Operation Cash Money go so wrong so fast? I got back to my desk, took a photo of a banknote, an open mugshot on my PC, but then it popped up with a message about illegal currency manipulation. How did I know what I was trying to do? How did it know what I was trying to do? That stupid app must have, been, must have narked on me. I swear there are snitches everywhere in this business. Oh, boy. Replace the M2 so and then install that stuff and run the thing. So what M2 did it have? A2250. Okay, so. A2250. If I'm not mistaken. A2250. Two 250 gig. Okay, yeah, so we got that. Alright. Anatole. Anatoly Picard. Hey, hey, I'm a new, I'm new at Irtag. Je suis rave de la chrissesse, but I need a bit of help getting it set up. Before you say anything, yes, my computer's a little on the crazy side. I used to work in esports. This is my first regular office job. They said I could keep my gaming PC to help me settle in. So I just need some software, that software. And if you get a chance, could you swap my old desktop wallpaper for something company branded? I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. Don't know if you follow esports. I used to play Fort Fight for a team called the Vandals. Uh, I was the best. Had a few ups and downs. New nature element. It's a competitive business, but nature element. But it, I might. I met. But I met a lot of great people, even the IT technicians. But I'll be 29 soon, and my reflexes aren't what they used to be. So here I am. I'm proud of everything I accomplished, but I don't want to make a big deal about it. That said, you if you ever need to know the best camping spots in warbling windmills, hit me up. Okay, so his is really straightforward. Um, it's just installing stuff. We don't need to buy anything. It's just installing these softwares and putting a logo on his desktop. This fan case I've got is strong enough. Diane Gesh. Um, this, case, this case fan is strong enough. I poked... A salami in it, and it hardly made a dent. Whoa. 
Could you swap it out for something bigger, more s slicey, like the Varder EVO 140 SBB would be perfect. Okay, Varder EVO. It's a case fan, right? Okay, so Varder Evo. It's 140SBB. Boom. Okay, there's got to be more to what she wants. Whoops. I'm guessing they don't make him with metal blades. No, suppose I could always sharpen the plastic. Inside probably needs to be dusted too if you get my MO. Don't want to leave any fingerprints. Okay. Keep it quiet, but I've got a surprise brewing for a certain someone. Been planning it for weeks and finally worked up the nerve. Just need to stay under the radar a bit longer. Don't want no one finding out and spoiling the fun. Okay. So we've pretty much got an idea of what we need equipment-wise. So we'll same day it. And then we're also getting our three motherboards, our low-tier motherboards. We could start working on that at some point, too. Okay, so really quickly, just put this bad boy back in. Go to the tickets here. And then we need to put a wallpaper in here as well. Um,. We don't need to run 3D Mark because we know it'll work, but we're going to run all of the other software. And we'll probably just run 3D Mark out of habit anyway. Oh god, very slow. These are so slow to install. These are going to be slow, slow to remove too. Oh. So what we're, we 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 have two towers that I'm willing to convert to really crummy motherboard work, and that's that'll that'll be nice. Um, and then the third Corsair tower with the fans that I left in it that will save for a nicer computer. There's no rush for we're not rushing to grab more and more parts, so there's no reason to break our backs to get that done. God, this computer sucks. Because it's so slow, I kind of want to preempt this. Oh shit. Alright, virus skin. Do 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 do. Boom. 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 Done. Done. There should be a concert. This must be it. Run. All right, let's keep moving here. So This is not her. Oh my god, that's so out of order. Okay, uh, install document typo flip side sellout. And, okay. And we'll benchmark his rig too while we're here. May as well. He needs all the hardware stuff. Doom. 
Boom, sell out, boom. Whoops. Okay, that. This, this, and he wanted the company logo, so we need to put that. And we're going to make sure he's at maximum performance. This rig is done. Oh my god, so much virus skin. All looks good. Wants our business or company logo. Boom. Run that. This one's so slow. I kind of want to make sure we're working on this right away. Because it's so slow. And this is a hard drive issue. More than anything else. Probably that and RAM, you could argue. Looking pretty good. This guy should be done. Oh no. There we go. to clean this up. Let's remove the smorgasbord of crap that we left on here. I'm not getting rid of the stuff he needs. Good. We'll clean this sucker out. And all that's left is the one that's out on uh out of the building. So we'll take a look at that. <clears throat>
We'll run that. All right. That's going. Let's fix this. Good. Now we need to go to visit location. And then we need to fix this, and we should be done. Relatively done. Okay. Replace M2, put on sellout cookbooks, and run network diagnostic. Okay, let's... Let's take a look in here. Where would this slot be? It's right there. They're making me take the Vigi card out, aren't they? Okay. How do they need sell out cookbooks and diagnostics? Okay, so the internet is a terrible place. Let B Link take you there. Okay, that should be good. Really quick, we could sell all broken parts for a couple bucks. All right, this guy should be done. And I think we're done with everybody. Okay, and his printer's working. Oh boy, time to collect. Even though with this episode running a little longer than normal, we we did pretty good. See, so this one's done. Because we ran everything it wanted. Uh, we did that. I'm double checking. Okay, let's save. All right, great, thanks. The Vandals made sure that I had the best IT support available. It's good to know I can still count on that here. We collect on that. Thanks for the assist. If anyone asks, this never happened. <laughs> All right. Not much to really fix there. This is brill sliced right through my salami. All ready for the next step. They won't know what hit them. Oh, boy. Good. Everybody's happy. Nice, dude. It's going to be so awesome to have mangled cabbage back together again. I'm going to go dust off the old six-string. Oh, these weirdos. All right. So... So far, so good. Um, like I said earlier, this computer is going to be removed. Um, and actually, here's another one that would fit. No, that's a micro. Here's no, these are two tiny ones, right? Yeah. These are the two tiny ones. 
Okay, so these are staying um, in this one. So pretty much what we can do, and I'm going to try to do it as quickly as I can here, is we're going to put these, just these motherboards in. We may not even put any RAM in for the moment. I want to get these processored up here with the, ab with the garbage. So we're going to put the garbage in here. Do we have any cheap, super cheap cooling? Eight dollars. Memory. I don't think we have any cheap memory, so we're gonna sit on the memory. Uh, the graphics. This is probably the worst graphics we could feasibly get in a realistic period. So we'll throw this in now. We could get worse, but it's very unlikely that we'll get it right away. What do we have for power supplies? 400 and a 450. So let's put those in now. 400 and 450 is pretty abysmal. Um, Storage. No mechan... Ah, we have a one terabyte mechanical. 20 bucks. But we have two 17ers, so technically these are worse. Even though technically they're faster. So all this is missing to be a functional computer is memory. So we're not going to, we're going to keep the fans, I think. Because this, this uh, rig probably doesn't really need much of anything. I mean, we could put one on, but it's so trashy. I don't even think I want to do that. Um... Any, like really, really tiny ones? Not really. Not two one forties and two one twenties. You know what? Let's just do this. Okay, so it just needs memory. And you, sir, are getting. You can keep the drive you have. I'm pretty sure. It's the motherboard that needs to be replaced. Or we have better motherboard. And we can save this motherboard and its processor for a better rig. Hence why we bought those better, those cheaper, rather crummier motherboards. And the next tower we get, that's not a nice tower, we're going to put it in the next one. We can that way we can get rid of these really really crappy rigs. The I3 is gonna go in this one. Put in this one fan. This is done, done. We're not doing it. I'm not doing anything else to this guy. Oh, you know what? That we gotta, you know what we gotta do? We gotta run a test. This I will not make you guys sit through. I'm going to run a 3D mark on this bad boy. Um, because that's the only way for us to gauge its new value properly. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv subject studios for more live gaming action. When we come back, it'll be a brand new day where we do some more crazy, crazy work to get more rigs done. Hopefully we'll get some new things to buy or fiddle around with, uh, computer building wise, because... We could use some extra cash, and we still haven't made 10 PCs. We've made about almost four, so we are slowly getting there. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you guys next time.